Hello and welcome back to this course. My name is Sajish and this video I will show you how to create a computer resources that is SQL warehouse and uh, Databricks cluster for accessing Unity Catalog data. First let's see uh, the SQL warehouse. The SQL warehouse is used to run Databricks SQL workload such as uh, queries, dashboard and visualization. So the SQL Warehouse allows you to connect uh, Unity Catalog data and run Unity Catalog specific command by default as long as your workspace is attached to Unity Catalog Metastore. So you don't need to worry about the version or the size or anything here. So you can create uh, any workspace, I mean any uh, SQL Warehouse, either Pro or Classic, it all will work and any size that is all fine. So you don't need to worry much uh, here you can create a warehouse so by using that warehouse you should be able to connect or even uh, the existing the default starter warehouse also fine so only thing is your workspace need to be connected to unity catalog metadata so now uh, going back to the cluster or uh, compute cluster uh, which is used to run workload using notebook or some automated job Okay, so here uh, we need to consider few things. Okay, not all cluster would be able to interact with the Unity Catalog metadata. So we need to check a uh, few things. Uh, we will see that the mainly the access mode and uh, version of uh, Databricks runtime that we need to consider while deploying the cluster. So let's uh, try to create a cluster and see how uh, we have to choose those configurations so first let's uh, go ahead and create a compute cluster from here and uh, so you can see the unity catalog is enabled and uh, it's all will show here in the summary so you have to make a note of this thing and uh, uh, you have to make sure unity catalog is displayed here so the first thing you need to look into is the access mode there are uh, three access mode or four access mode but uh, uh, the fourth one is not listed here which is custom single user shared or no isolation so unity catalog support is available in single user as well as uh, the shared the no isolation mode doesn't support unity catalog we can see that okay if i change it to shared uh, i can see this unity catalog right if I change it to no isolation, right, the Unity Catalog support is not there. Again, uh, so you have to choose either single user, so which is for one user, or shared. Uh, so in both case, even if it's a single user or shared, if you enable the credential pass through, then uh, you won't be uh, this support feature won't be available. Okay, so let me just uh, change it to this one and if i enable this credential pass through then you can see uh, this unity catalog even though it's in the single user if i enable this credential pass through then this feature won't be available so make sure you are not selecting this okay again the databricks recommend you to use uh, external location for accessing this storage so make sure you are not selecting this uh, the credential pass through and the same for the shared also so by default the shared support unity catalog but if you enable this credential pass through then that feature won't be available then uh, if you have selected uh, either single user or shared the other thing you need to look into is uh, the databricks runtime version so not all versions of uh, databricks runtime support unity catalog so here if i change it to the version uh, 11.3 some lower version you can see it support unity catalog uh, let me change it back to uh, 10.4 again one more uh, lower version and 10 10.4 also support but 9.1 uh, won't be supporting so if you change it to 9.1 you can see in the summary it doesn't support so you have to be careful while choosing and any version below 9.1 doesn't support so uh, you have to be uh, careful while selecting the databricks runtime version so that's it about this demo 
Thank you for watching this video. We will see in the next video. Bye.